Okay, so if you're not quite sure how to solve this percent problem, well, no worries because I'm going to fully explain the solution in just one second. But uh, let's take a look at this problem. We have 4% of x is 15. What is x equal to? Now, in algebra, uh, x is what we call a variable. It simply represents a number. So another way to kind of interpret this problem is 4% of what number is 15? All right, now feel free to use a calculator, but if you have an answer, go ahead and put that into the comment section. I'll show you the correct solution in just one second. Then, of course, I'm going to solve this problem step by step. But uh, before we get started, let me quickly tell you who I am. My name is John, and I have been teaching middle and high school math for decades. And if you want a nice, easy way to learn math, well, then check out my math help program at tcmathacademy.com. You can find a link to that in the description below. And if this video helps you out, or if you just enjoy this content, make sure to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. All right, so once again, here is our problem. So 4% of X or 4% of what number is 15? All right, so let's take a look at the answer. The correct answer is 375. So that is what X is equal to. So if you got this right, well, that is fantastic. You definitely got a happy face and an A+. Plus. And if you're like uh, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I thought I understood uh, percent, but uh, maybe I just don't understand this as well as I think I do. Well, don't feel too bad because uh, hopefully most people can find the percent of a number, but this type of percent problem is a, a little bit more uh, trickier, if you will. Now, there's a couple different approaches uh, you can take to solve this problem. It really depends on, you know, how you were taught percent in school. Now, I'm going to be using algebra to solve this problem, but you don't have to use algebra. Again, if you think of this problem as 4% of what number is, uh, is, now this word is, I'll just go ahead and tell you this right now, in math, that means equal, all right? So 4% of what number is equal to 15, all right? So again, uh, as long as you understand uh, your, you know, way to solve this problem and you can get the right answer, that's what counts. But uh, for those of you that are like, hey, Mr. You to Math Man, I don't even remember a basic percent. Well, no big deal. We're going to go ahead and review that right now because we have to understand how to find the percent of a number before we can take on this problem. All right, so here is a, a real basic percent problem. Hopefully, most of you out there can do this. But if you can't, I am going to review it. So here is 4% of 30. What is the answer to this problem? Okay, so again, feel free to use your calculator and put that into the comments section. But uh, let me go ahead and show you how to find the percent of a number. Okay, so what we're going to do is take this percent and uh, uh, write it as a decimal, okay? Now, what is percent? What is the definition of percent? Well, the definition of percent is when we take a number that is a percent, we're going to compare it uh, to a... Um, to, we're basically going to construct a fraction where the denominator is 100. In other words, we're going to compare that number to 100. But uh, that's kind of a long-winded way to saying that uh, the percent of a number is where we take the number and we put it over 100. All right, so 4% is equivalent to 4 over 100. Okay, now 4 over 100 is equivalent to the decimal 0.04. Okay which is what? Four one hundredths. This is the tenths place. This is the hundredths place. So this is four one hundredths. But now most people are saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, I think I remember back in school how to uh, go from a percent to a decimal. Don't you move the decimal point over two places to the left? Yes, that's exactly what you do. But that is the result, okay, of dividing by 100. So four percent or 4.0% when we write this as a decimal, we're going to scoot that decimal point over two places to the left, so we have 0 0.04, all right? But again, I want to make sure you understand what percent is. Okay, and not only that, you can uh, express a percent as a fraction. All right, now, uh, once you have your percent expressed as a decimal or fraction, what you're going to do is multiply it by the number. So 0 0.04 times 30 in our calculators will get 1.2. Now, for those of you that are pretty good in basic math, uh, let's just take a look at this answer, 1.2, and let's suppose we didn't have a calculator. So how can we kind of estimate uh, this answer, right? So in other words, is this a reasonable answer? 
hopefully most of you are saying, of course, that's correct, Mr. YouTube Math Man. But let's just look at this problem. And here is kind of a quick way you can uh, estimate percents. So 4% of 30, all right? So of course we know the answer. But let's just think about what is 10% of 30, all right? So 10% of 30. Hopefully most of you are saying, well, 10% of 30 is 3, okay? Because 3 times 10 is going to uh, be 30, right? So 10% of 30 is 3. Now, that is 1 tenth of 30, right? So 10%, again, as a fraction, that's 10 over 100, right? Or 1 tenth. So 1 tenth of 30, or we actually like to just do it this way, 1 tenth of 30 is going to be 30 divided by 10, which, of course, is 3. But I think most people, you know, are pretty good at estimating percents if you can just uh, get 10% of a number. And that could be any number, right? So, for example, what is 10% of 700, right? So 10% of 700 is 70, okay? All right, so hopefully that makes sense. Now, here we have 4% of 30 now four i'm sorry 10 percent excuse me 10 percent of 30 we're going to estimate that as um, being three okay so 10 percent is three but i'm looking for four percent so maybe if we uh, divide our 10 percent by two we're going to have what five percent so maybe five percent is half of what three is so three divided by two is 1.5 right so hopefully that is uh, you know a little kind of tool that you can use when it comes to estimating percent. So 5% of 30 is going to be half of 10% of 30. 10% of 30 is 3. So 5% of 30 is going to be 1.5. So what's 4% of 30? Well, it's going to be pretty close to 5%. So 5% of 30 is 1.5. Well, then 4% of 30, is, uh, if the answer is 1.2, that makes sense. Okay, so let's go ahead and actually solve this problem. So now that we understand how to find the percent of a number, what we have here, x is a variable, but it represents the number, okay? Now this word is, in mathematics, is always the equal sign, right? Something is equal to. So what we can do is uh, construct a basic equation here. So 4% of x, so I have some number. What's 4% of this number? Well, I don't know what the number is, but I know that I have to change this to a decimal, 0 0.04, and multiply it by that number. So algebraically, that would look like this, 0 0.04 times x is or is equal to 15. All right, so this is the equation that we need to solve, and when we solve this equation for x, we will have the right answer. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that right now. And this is a simple one-step algebra equation. So 0 0.04 times x is equal to 15. All we have to do is divide both sides of the equation by 0 0.04. Now at this point, okay, for those of you that did not use algebra, but you solved this problem, what you did in some manner was take that 15 and divide it by 0 0.04, all right? So it's okay if you didn't set up an algebra equation, as long as you understand what you are doing to solve the problem. All right, so 15 divided by 0 0.04 is equal to 375. Now, let's suppose you're like, hmm, you know, I'm not quite sure I did this right. How can we check our answer? Well, let's go ahead and go over here, right? So 4%, the question, let's just come back up here. So 4% of X, so 4% of what number is uh, 15? So if X is 375, well, then 4% of 375 should be equal to 15. And we can easily check that. So let's go and do that right now. So 4% of 375 is what? Well, that's going to be 0 0.04 times 375. And if we do this in our calculators, we're going to get 15. Okay, so that is it for this video. And if this video did help you out, well, consider helping me out by hitting that subscribe button. It really does help me uh, reach as many people as possible on YouTube. You see, as a math teacher, I just love when my math uh, classroom is packed. Now, uh, you know, just to be uh, truthful about it, when you're teaching inside an actual classroom and you got 30 students, that's pretty challenging. Okay, for some of you out there that might be considering uh, becoming a teacher, well, it is a challenging career. So some of you might be saying, hey, Mr. YouTube Math Man, you don't know what challenging is. Yeah, well, I actually do. I've done other things in my life other than teaching. Uh, you know, and in former life, I was actually a U.S. Marine, and I've done other things as well. And I can tell you right now, teaching is challenging, but it's also tremendously 
rewarding, all right? So the more people I can help with math, the better you know I feel about myself because that's why I make this content. My channel is all about trying to make math clear, understandable, and interesting, but I need your support, and the best way you can support this channel is to hit that subscribe button, and if you're gonna do that, hit that bell button so you can get my latest videos. Now, if you wanna take one of my full math courses, again, uh, check out the links in the description of this video. We're talking about basic math here, like percent. So a couple quick suggestions, check out my math foundations course or my math skills rebuilder course for those of you that need a quick refresher in basic mathematics. Okay, so with all that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your math adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.